You want your students to take action, whether it is action in advising, whether it is action in the classroom, or whether it is action on a problem that they may be having or discussing with you. So when you are discussing the benefits of, uh, say, signing up for a new certificate, or if you want to talk about the benefits of solving a problem or the benefits of spending more time doing research or more time on refinement of craft, uh, you need to find a way to make sure that you are saying the, you're giving this information clearly and distinctly. It is my experience that when a, a young or inexperienced teacher is pointing out the reasons for doing something, um, signing up for a new certificate, starting a study group, uh, spending more time on the research, uh, spending more time getting to know special parts of a program. Um, when the teacher is talking about these things, they begin talking about the features of what they're discussing, whether it's the features of a program, hey, you should really use the program, it can do this, the program can do that, uh, you should join a study group because a study group can meet here, a study group is easy to do this, um, you should really spend more time with this research because research, uh, research can make your projects do this, uh, when in fact, rather than focus on the features, you should really be focusing on the benefits. What is the benefit of taking this action? I'll try to be specific about this. A feature is a trait of the service or the uh, software product or uh, the solution which is offered. In other words, what it is. Now a feature is something that this item will produce for the user what it does. So for instance, um, a feature of having a certificate is that you can put it on your resume and then everyone will know that you are backed up by the college or the university in this capacity, or that um, the school is willing to put their name by your name. Finally, the benefit is what the feature does for me. One small example of this is that the product is a clip. A feature of the product, or a, I'm sorry, the product is a pen, and the feature of the product is the clip, and the benefit is that the pen will stay in your pocket. Now, once more, uh, you know, you can go beyond this because, uh, you know, now that the pen stays in your pocket, the pen will not fall out of your pocket. If you put it in the morning and you forget to do something, if you bend over, it won't fall out of your pocket. It will always be available. How many times have you been driving down the road and you've had a thought, but you don't know how to write it down? Maybe you don't have a marker. Maybe you're not exactly sure how to get into your um, glove box while you're driving. Well, with this clip, you'll have in all that. In half a mile, turn left to merge onto the benefit to you is that it saves you time. In 13 miles. It saves you time. You always know where your pen is. And it saves you money because you don't have to replace your pens as often because you'll always know where they are. Another example here is that uh, you, can, you can look to your certificate program. Within your program, you have the step up to a degree certificate that says by the time you achieve your associate's degree, you will earn certifications along the way so that if you stop before you receive your degree, you won't go away empty handed. Now, 
one of uh, the features of this degree is you have five. As soon as you finish your first year, you will have two, and then every semester after, you will gain one to two more. One of the features here is that uh, it costs no money, or I suppose that's really one of the benefits. The feature is you will receive a certification. The benefit to you is you will receive a certification which is backed by a college. Uh, it costs no money to you, and if you sign up, there's no obligation for you to finish, but we encourage you heavily to do so. So what you might say is this. Uh, when meeting with student X, you might say, I see that you have not yet signed up for our certificates. Are you interested in hearing about them? We have five certificates that you will receive on the way to your final degree with us. It costs no money to sign up and it costs no money to receive the certification when you're done. One of the great things about this certification is you will receive your certification in the mail and if you are trying to get a job before you've earned your degree, you can already have a piece of paper that says the university stand or the college stands behind your level of skill and achievement within these certain bounds. Would you like to sign up today? Now, when we're looking at something like that, you may notice that we could have talked about how many you'll get over how much time, but the important thing here is to ensure that when you are talking with a student, you're always looking out for their best benefit, but that also means that you are looking at them mm, so that the benefit statements that you're giving are appropriate to them. They're going to earn it. It's free. It doesn't cost any money to receive it once they've got it. It will come in the mail. Uh, the university will back your skills. You can get a job before you graduate. Each and every one of these things are a positive. There's another important point to mark down here. You, you may notice that when I was discussing that, I wasn't calling them say the certificate in graphic design or the certificate in web and graphic design or the certificate in design basics or the certificate in advanced graphic design or whatever they all happen to be um, these they're important to us as educators but it is also important to remember that not everything that is important to us is important to the student because in the end Whatever you call the certifications, um, they care about the certificate. They care about the benefit to them. They don't care that it's an A30100 or a C30100B certification. Like, that doesn't mean anything to them. They could really care less. But what they do care about is the benefit. As long as they're getting the benefit, they really don't care what you call it. Similarly, don't overwhelm a student trying to, uh, trying to give them the hard sell on the major benefits that they'll get from using this particular product or this particular service or learning this particular skill or applying to this particular job. Don't oversell it. Make it available to them and see that they get a return on it. So, in short, what I would heavily suggest to you is make sure <clears throat> excuse me, that you're giving them uh, a clear line to the benefits that they're going to receive. Give them a clear solution to why it's good for them to get it, and then make sure that everything that you're telling them is going to be focused on them and their situation. To apply this knowledge today, we're going to use a simple three-set process. Number one, talk about or write down or think about the product or the service um, that you are finding you're offering to your students more often than others. This may be one product or it may be five different products. It may be even more. But take time to identify what they are and why people need them. Next, write down the features of having that product. 
what what is uh, what's so great about signing up for these certificates? Uh, why should they bother to switch to a completely different software package than the one that they've just been taught how to use? Is it really worth their time to get an internship with ABC Corps? In other words, in two miles. In other words, uh, use this second section to write down what it is that the prospect will get from it. Finally, if it's something that you are saying over and over and over again or offering over and over again, write down what the benefits are. What is this student or this person in the public, what are they going to gain from the product or service that you're constantly trying to give? Um, if it's nothing particularly new, aren't they already doing something similar to that? Give them the best that they need. In other words, what are the benefits that other students are getting or have seen by making this change or adjustment? By marking all these down, you will have a list of features, functions, and benefits of all the things that you are finding that students could benefit from each and every time you are discussing throughout the semester. So, whether your list is one item, five items, or 20 items, let's, let's just be conservative there, <laughs> one item, five items, or 20 items, having this list in your hands is an excellent way for you to ensure that you will be prepared and you can quickly and easily advise the students with a strong set of reasons and benefits. Thanks. Hope you've enjoyed this podcast. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and by all means, just, just absolutely destroy that like button. Just really blow it up, and uh, by all means, design your future.